Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Cube 4 of the Weekly Contest 308. Build a matrix with conditions. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem and this contest and so forth. Um, yeah, so this one, um, I, I did take a while to read just because I, I don't know, I was very tired uh, and so forth. But, but the idea here is that um, you have these conditions, right? And that's... You know, and we can think about it one dimension only at the time at a time because 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 um you know the the rows and the columns they don't really affect each other so that's why um and yeah and so you can solve them independently but this is basically saying for example looking at um this condition we can see that we want one before the two three before the two and that means that um you know, uh, sorry, friends. I think today I'm a little bit uh, sad in that I'm in Turkey right now, as you can s maybe see, and you could watch it from my recent videos. So I don't have the drawing stuff. Otherwise, I can draw it out. But the sport of a lot, uh, a lot, learn is that this is a topo sort, topological sort. So basically, the idea about topological sort is, and the two ways to do it. One is the the DFS way, and the other is the breadth search way, if you will. The um, or with Q versus stack, um, and that's and they're both really the same because the idea with the Q and the stack is that instead of a Q, um, we just put it you we, we just um, yeah, use a stack instead or something. I probably I don't know, um, but yeah, uh, definitely Google that up, read it up. But basically, it it the um, and I'm gonna pull up really um. But basically, it, if you read up on the wiki, it just does that exactly, right? So you have a directed graph. You have, oh, there you go. You have some graph, and you have this relationship, and you want to execute uh, one at a time, and or maybe not one at a time, but just like the dependency graph. And and yeah, so here you can think about it as having um, an edge from zero, or sorry, one to, from like this. And then now when you draw it out, you go, okay. Um, the way that I think about it is uh, the problem, I think it's called course schedule or something like this. Um, I think it's on lead code as well, but that's like the way that I think about it, right? The way that I think about these problems is that you're saying, let's say one is, uh, one is physics, two is math. Uh, I mean, these may not make sense. And then three is chemistry, right? Um, the idea here is just saying, okay, <clears throat> uh, I need. I I want to take math. Okay. Oh, so the two topological sorts, right? Like I said, one is kind of recursion based, the other is Q based. And the way that I think about topological sort with these problems is that the two different ways of phrasing it, right? And the way that I like it is by using a Q, um, at least you know just for now. And the way and what I mean by that is just going. Okay, my question is. What classes can I take now with no uh, prerequisites, right? Or no no prerequisites that we haven't met yet, right? And here, if you have something like this, we go, okay, well, physics doesn't have any dependencies. And what I mean by that is that if it points to another number, say 4, then it has a prerequisite, right? So 1 has no prerequisite, so we take physics, and then next we take, we, um, you know, and then this is the graph afterwards, so we... Now, two still has a dependency, but three doesn't, right? So we take chemistry and then math and so forth, right? So that's basically the idea, and you keep on repeating it, right? Um, we'll show the code in a second. And then the recursion base is just basically, if I want to take a class, what classes do I have to take first, right? And here, maybe this... Um, this example is a little bit too too easy, but what I'm let's say we just do an, t t want to uh, take classes in some random order. Let's say we want to take math. Okay, okay, I want to take math. What classes do I have to take first? Well, I have to take a physics class first, or a chemistry class first, um, or well, actually, you have to do both, but you have to do it in some order, right? And this could be recursion as well. In that, like, let's say you have you know something like that, and then you go, okay, let's say I want to take four. What classes do I have to take? Well, I have to take three. I haven't taken that yet. Um, and the, you know, we, and this is how you get the recursion. You say, oh, I have to take three. I haven't taken it yet. Oh, what class do I have to take 
to to take three. Well, we have to take the two because we haven't taken it yet, and that's a prerequisite, um, and so forth, all the way to one, right? So that's basically the idea. And if you, and why am I spending so much time explaining this part? Because once you ex, um, understand this, you can implement in you can implement both in whichever way you want in reasonable amount of time. No need for templates because people in my Discord are talking about templates. It's fine, you know, just having a good understanding. Maybe you type a little bit slower, but Look, the first time will be slow. The second time will be uh, still slow, probably. The third time a little bit faster, but still probably slow. And dot dot dot. But and if you've done this, you know, enough times, you know, you can you have the idea, and then the code is just code, right? You know, it's like a it's like it's like if you're learning Spanish, you don't memorize all the phrases. You you remember, you know, you learn how things interact with each other so that you're able to speak and talk, right? Communication is not, you know, communication is not trivia, and and communication is just about how to kind of understand the situation, right? Anyway, so I, a little bit of a side quest and pet peeve, but yeah, but this is the, the way that I uh, I would say, and let's go over my code. Um, so the the key part here is noting that the row and the columns don't um, rely on each other. So here I'm gonna skip to the end real quick. And you can see that as a result, I built the ends on the row conditions, I built the ends on column conditions, and then if either of them are not um, achievable, that return empty away. Otherwise, we just kind of fill it out with the answer that they, you know, with, this, with where they want us to put it. Um, and here it's my topological sort. Um, I set up the graph as we did, and basically I go, okay, what classes can I? Take in the beginning. I'm saying classes because I'm still using the same metaphor. Um, but yeah, what class I'm taking? Well, if this class has no addition, no prerequisites that we need, then we we take this class, um, or we set up to take this class. And this is just basically um, you know keeping track of the counter one by one so that we can return it later. But it, here we go. Okay, let's take this class, and then we you know like I said, set it to the current. And here we for every class. That has this class as the dependency, then we we relax it, right? Meaning that okay, um, if we just took physics and math is a requirement, or if we just took math and physics is a requirement, then and when you take physics, you go okay, math you decrement, right? So that's basically the idea. And then now, if the class that we just decrement has one few prerequisites, but with that prerequisites now um, has no prerequisites, we we um we add it to the queue to 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 the classes we can take and then at the end if we took k classes uh which is you know meeting we took every class then we return the row otherwise we return um you know an uh an, uh, an empty array is how i denote it um let's show the code real quick this is the top part and this is the bottom part um for so what is the running time, right? Uh, this is going to be v times e, uh, or v plus e, where v is the number of, uh, well, v is just k, and then the row conditions depending uh, counts the number of edges because we have to look at each edge once here, and well, we have to look at each node once, just in the way that it, we do it, and this is how we look at each edge in the aggregate. So this is going to be v plus e time, and space is also v plus e. Um, just the way that I did it. Um, technically, we did it twice, but you know, you know how big O works. Ooh, that was my alarm. Whoops, that scared me. So hopefully, that didn't scare you. But yeah, um, yeah. Then so this is gonna be linear time, linear space, and that's pretty much it. Um, because we do it twice. Oh, uh, I lied. I forgot about this part. So this is, but this is like you know, um, uh, uh. And in this case, this is v square space. If you want to use the same notation, uh, I lied because I forgot about this part. But yeah, uh, th that's just the representation. And obviously, you cannot get lower bound than this because that's the answer you have to give. So anyway, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions on Discord or uh, on the comments, and we'll definitely you know play around with it. Um, but I would say a good part of this is just understanding topological sort. I don't. 
like once you understand it, the 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 part where you can separate them maybe comes in handy. And yeah, let me know what you think. And yeah, that's all I have. You could watch me solve a live during a virtual contest now. Okay, that's good. Build a matrix with conditions. Okay, so let's see. How am I doing on time anyway? Uh, the five minute hurts, but otherwise, wow, people are already done. I spent too long on Q1, obviously. <laughs> I misread it. Uh, seven minutes plus five minutes penalty. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Oh, Josh already finished. Nice. Got in. Oh no, I was gonna say one minute, but he's doing that trick again. Uh, two D. Okay, so you're given row conditions. Uh, uh, it's too early for me to read, but okay. Above and below. K by K matrix. One to K exactly ones. Okay. The number above sub i. What is above sub i again? Hmm. Okay, so there's three numbers. Why do we only have? What does one two mean? Okay, let's take a look at it. I'm I don't even understand the problem, so okay. <clears throat> I see. So the one is above the two and then the three is above the two. Okay, so this is just um yeah, I was gonna say the multiple branches. This is just uh, what I'm call it. Uh, 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 um, dep dependency, whatever, right? Um, okay, that means that okay. So well, so we and we don't even need this until later. Okay. Um, Do them independently so row conditions we have try to figure out a way to do this in a better way as well let's just say get uh, i'm putting it for like the tag uh scheduling thing uh okay so that means that in conditions, what are we doing? That means that above <coughs> do is before we um U is before we so that means that U has a okay. <coughs> This is one indexed. It's never, they never really, um, yeah, I mean, they, they, uh, they Lico is not very consistent about one index or zero index. I have to look it up every time. So, okay. Just standard buffer search, or well, not buffer search? A uh, queue based. I can't find up that word about the scheduling thing, but yeah, uh, too early.
this as well. I mean, I'm, I maybe this is out degree actually, but depending on how I want to say it, yeah, whatever, too late. Um, okay, so then now we look at all the stuff that it likes. <coughs> So go to K. Okay, so then build conditions, build car conditions. Otherwise, <coughs> um, all right. Missing, uh, oh, well, Wanson, not in. Mm, did I mess that up? Oh, whoops, this is I plus one. Um, is that right? This is, doesn't seem. Oh no, mm, two is left to run. Two is left of one, which is true, and three is left of two. Okay, that looks okay, just not the one that they give me. Unless I'm wrong and I eyeballed it incorrectly. Okay, <clears throat> so I guess I would have done very well in this contest, to be honest. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this contest and my explanation, this problem, whatever. <laughs> stay good, stay healthy, take good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.